Okay, guys, I'm here to talk about the number three um, <clears throat> Alabama Crimson Tide losing to the rank 11 Oklahoma Sooners in an upset. I wouldn't even call it an upset, okay? I mean, <clears throat> yes, Alabama is a good football team. I'm not taking that away from them. But, I mean, just these last, let's go back two years ago. I mean, they were just an all star squad. AJ McCarron was amazing. Um, Trent Richardson, amazing. I mean, they just had a really good team. Nick Saban was really, I mean, I don't know. He was just really quick with his decisions, and he, he knew exactly what he was doing with his team. <clears throat> this year, Alabama, um, their two toughest games had to be probably Auburn and Oklahoma. I mean, losing to Auburn and then losing to Oklahoma. I mean, Oklahoma's QB, I forget his name, it was... I think Travis something, and he was, like, very good. I mean, he's got a lot of talent. Um, A.J. McCarron, um, I wish him good luck in the NFL. But do I think he had a necessarily good game against Oklahoma? No. If A.J. McCarron played a little bit better, I mean, the game might have resulted. Because A.J. McCarron's, I mean, the game might have resulted differently. Because A.J. McCarron's skill level is very good. I mean, I gotta say, he's one of the best QBs in college football. Probably one of them right after Jameis Winston. See, the thing is with AJ McCarron and his crew, these last two years they've dominated. Uh, Trent Richardson, I mean, he just run all over defenses. But this year, I mean, I just never saw it with them. And um, right when they played Auburn, I said I wouldn't even be surprised if Auburn if Auburn beats this team. I mean, the game got close. I honestly thought Alabama would make the field goal they missed, and I mean, that's the way football works. They go into the Sugar Bowl. I mean, they didn't. They didn't. They looked angry. I. 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 I didn't think they were gonna win. I mean, they looked very frustrated that Auburn beat them, and they just came out and they didn't come up with the W. And okay, now let's talk about how Oklahoma did in this game. Oklahoma played fantastic, and the man who put Oklahoma on their back this game was QB Travis. I mean. I don't remember his last name, but he was very good. Um, I watched most of the game. I watched up until, like, the end of the first quarter. Then I left, came back, and I watched third quarter, fourth quarter. But <clears throat> I missed the total second quarter. But all you could see, I mean, you could just watch ten seconds with this kid. You could tell that he was on the money. He was very mobile. He knew exactly what he was doing. He was determined. He knew exactly who he was throwing to. He never had to second-guess anything. I mean, the kid was very, very good. Um, uh, Alabama's defense, I mean, they played pretty well. I mean, with a QB like Travis, I mean, he's just going to beat you every time. I mean, as I was saying, looking very angry, Alabama did look angry. And a lot of people think, oh, the angrier the team, the better they'll play. No, 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 no. It's the exact opposite. Anger the team, the worse they'll play. I mean, just get angry at the teammates, cause a lot of fouls over, like, their anger, and just hurting the other team in <clears throat> certain ways to where it fouls you. Um, Nick Saban, I want to talk about him a little bit. <sighs> I mean, his play calling against Auburn was good. I mean, he, he's had good play calling all year. Now, I feel like he gets nervous. Like, when he was with Alabama the last two years, he never really had to get nervous. Like, every game, it was just a blowout. And um, But this year, I really do think uh, <clears throat> Nick Saban just wasn't on the money like the rest of the team. Now, um, I mean, final score was, I think, 31-24, something like that. I don't even remember. But, um, yeah, that's the end of my video. I mean... You guys write in the comment section below on what your thoughts were and uh, yeah, see ya.